Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, quite a few of you have been asking me to talk a little more about a vulnerability that is a zero day that was discovered um, called Folina. And uh, this is something that has been actually discovered somewhere in April. And Microsoft said that it was fixed, but it's no, there's no fix to be found. Um, and so what is it and how dangerous is it exactly? First of all, it's an exploit that actually uses the um, Microsoft support diagnostic tool. It collects information and that sends it to Microsoft support. But it doesn't, um, it's not something that you just by surfing um, or, or looking at web pages you can get. So it's a little more complex than that. It, it, it requires you to actually open a malicious um, Office file, like a Word file. So if you don't use Microsoft Office, you already pretty much mitigate everything on that. But there is something about it. Uh, there is definitely also apparently proof of concept that it could be technically possible to exploit this through some kind of phishing attempt through email, for example. You know, when we talk about security being what you do, this is an example. This is a flaw that does exist and can be exploited in Windows, but it requires the user to actually do something in order to exploit it. It's not a vulnerability that is just dependent on surfing to a web page that has the malicious code. Um, so, without that action, you're not necessarily in danger. Um, I don't think I would put this necessarily as a, um, you know, a critical threat. I think it's something that needs to be fixed definitely. But um, first of all, the detection of this exploit is right now very low, meaning there's really not a lot happening on this term. I've seen some videos and I've seen others, you know, go crazy over this and say, wow, this is really a major issue. And it's not that major, personally. It is, once again, a security flaw that needs to be fixed, that's for sure. But uh, unless you use Office or unless you are, you know, living the dangerous life clicking on everything you see, chances are of you getting some virus or some, you know, computer, losing your, the control of your computer due to this is not very high. Um, the flaw affects ver every version of Windows from Windows 7 up to the latest Windows versions, Windows 11 and Windows Server and so on. It is something that will probably be fixed with the patch Tuesday, possibly this month. Uh, there are some workarounds with, you know, uh, which actually show um, a um, little registry hack that you can do that kind of mitigates this attack. But um, like I said, I'm not overly concerned uh, because of the fact that you have to really uh, have somebody or have a malicious Word or Office file that would actually do this. Um, if you're a business or if you do exchange a lot of Word files, Office files with everybody, um, just make sure, you know, what you receive is, um, you know, good stuff from the, the companies and the people that you work with, uh, you know, and don't open anything that is weird. Um, you know, it comes down to the same rule of anything can happen and you can be exploited with this, um, you know, even if you would have no security flaws, if you click, you know, a, a malicious file, if you click a malicious um, you know, link that um, opens something, there's always a risk of you getting a, a virus or malware or whatever. Uh, this is a little more intense because this does exploit a flaw, which means it's easier to exploit, easier to happen. But once again, it's up to you what you do that decides if you can be infected or you can be um, exploited by this flaw. So just you know, stay on the safe side and there's no problem. The other thing also is what they're saying is that most antivirus don't see absolutely nothing 
with this flaw being exploited. So that means, like I always say, don't rely on your antivirus for security. Rely on you not clicking on everything you see, not downloading stuff you shouldn't download. And uh, be careful if you are a Office user um, for um, possible malicious Office files. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.